What is up guys and welcome back to the channel again. Today we are loading nine cars out of Montreal here heading for Saskatoon. So let's go and check them out. And today I'm going to do a little different. I'm going to show you how I strapped them down, which way they have to go and explain a little more about the whole situation of car carrier. All right guys, so just like every car carrier we have levers that we have to use in order to set up our trailer the proper way and make everything work so first thing is is let's start with the, up here with the lever okay so we gotta set this up so that i can put a car up in front so as you can see here we have it says rear and front that r for rear and front for front and then this here is your front front one up there hopefully you can see what i'm showing you there and then we're going to go up here and what we want to do is we want to drop these pins down uh, and we kill one two three four five six seven seven is pretty standard when i'm hauling anything smaller than a truck okay so when you're hauling the truck you pretty much have to have the drop one two three four five six one more right there so, and it all depends on the vehicle that you're hauling too. So you gotta, you know, you gotta allow for the vehicle height and everything. So the one I'm hauling is pretty low. It'll only be probably as high as the top of the, the, the poles here. So I just want that pretty much level. This one's set up, ready to go. Um, I'm gonna bring that up a little more and then level it out a little more like that. And then we gotta pull this one to that. So what we do is we have an extender here. We're gonna extend it out as far as we can here. Well, not as far as we can, but uh, as far as we need to. Okay, so let's bring that up a little bit. We're gonna bring the butt up a little. And then we're gonna Gonna bring it down a little and extend that out a little bit. Bring this one up a little bit. Um, I'm gonna slide that up a little more and then slide this one. Okay, and that's that. That looks good. All looks good. I could lift that one a little more, I think. Just See, and that little bit of gap doesn't hurt it at all because the tires roll right over it, right? So you don't have to worry about that. Now, the next thing is, is this here. Okay, we got a slider here. I don't know if you can see that, but we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide out this part here. We're gonna slide out the back part and then we'll lower that down. So let's slide that out all the way. So I hear it stop. Okay, and then we're gonna lower the top one down. Okay, now we're pretty much set up here. See how I got it? It's pretty much set up here. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the ramps out and then I gotta go up and do all the cables. So let's pull the ramps out. like that pull the other one out just like that okay that's that done so now we'll go along and we'll unhook all these all these here so that That one's tight okay I'm gonna have to get a the bar for that one
these here, the reason why you move these all out of the way is so when you bring the car up, you don't drive over them. Which is pretty explanatory, right? So that way when you go to strap them down, you don't have to move the vehicle to to get these out from underneath it when you drive it up here. So just makes it easier and quicker if you have it already done and you don't have to do it twice. Um, usually I have this already set up and ready to go. But today, because I'm showing you how to do it, I kind of going through all the steps. See, I already got my first car ready to go here. I got to scan it in, do an inspection of it. And we'll walk you through the step. Now, I'm not going to show you every vehicle I inspect, but I'll go through the first one and kind of give you a whole idea of how, how it should be done. And it's not that I don't want you to see me do every vehicle. It's, I mean, that's time taken away from me getting these loaded and out of here, right? At the end of the day, I still gotta make money. So if you hit that subscribe button and maybe like a video every time you see one, that'll help me out and maybe I won't have to rush so much. I can do it a lot slower and you can see how it goes. That's that, okay. Now we'll do a walk around of the vehicle before I put it up. See this one, you always put on backwards because it's going up front. If it's a pickup truck, if it's got a tunnel cover on it, you always put it forward up there. If it doesn't have a tunnel cover, you put it backwards and you, when you strap down the front of it, you strap it from the frame so that it pulls the truck down to give you less height, if that makes sense to you. So that's basically how it works. So now, when I go to scan the vehicle, okay, I'm giving a, a list of vehicles here in my scanner. So we're picking up from this location. So here's my list of all my vehicles. So what I do is I go down here, we have a little barcode and I scan it. It's not in your list, it is in my list. It's probably a good chance that the VIN code is not right because we already checked we already verified all the last three digits of the VIN so uh, Okay, so what I got to do is we already know and 313 so I'll go back and I'll look in my phone at the list I got and the last three digits 313 They don't make a vehicle that's going to the same spot Yeah, 313 see uh, six zero. Yeah, see they frigged up on it. So it's not a big deal, but we can uh, we can just go off of what we have here. No, it is six zero six three one three. Six zero six three one three. For some reason, it's just not picking up on the scanner. So we'll do it this way. See, I have it on my phone here. List. We'll just use that to scan it. And there we go, we're scanned in. Okay, so now that I'm scanned in, I'm gonna check check here to make sure it's scanned, okay? Now we're gonna do a walk around the vehicle because we have to inspect it. And as you can see right here, see how this has popped out? Well, okay, if I didn't scan that, they would come back and say I did the damage and then we would have to, the company would have to pay for it. Same with that there and that there, scratches. All that stuff has to be listed. So that Sam, when I left here, I left here and this was the damage that was done to it. So I got to go through my system and I basically take pictures of all the damage. So we mark it. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm right by the airport. 
if you hear any loud noises or planes or anything, that's what it is. So here what I'm doing is just taking pictures of all the damages. I don't bother marking in what the damages are. If you can't see it in the picture, maybe we get better machines that can see the, the damages. See, and this is a big one, the back bumper. They'll always try to ding us. Uh, don't get me wrong, a lot of places are pretty decent. Um, we don't have a lot of issues and you know but some places they're they're actually pretty bad so see there's another scratch right here below the light and i'm not here to polish the vehicle to make sure that that's what it is and i take the picture and i go on i mean don't slow down whatever you do right Excuse my language, but they don't even pay attention to me being here. Okay, so I got all that done. Now I'm going to save it, and I'm going to sign off on that. Okay. That's that one done. So, now that we got that one done, I'm gonna pull this up on the... Pull this up on the ramp. Oh, I need my gloves. <sighs> this is where it gets the fun part right so you know we're gonna back it up oh yeah i forgot i gotta fix that i gotta figure out which vehicle i'm gonna put there too um I gotta get over some. I'm way too close to that side. Oh. Jeez. She keeps wanting to go over that way. I gotta watch, I don't, I don't hit it. Oops, yep, we gotta watch. We don't spin her out either. So this one, we put just like that. Just like so. And then, that's that. I might have to lower it a little more, but we put the emergency brake on. That one's done. We go get the next one. So, we got this one in place. Let's go grab the other one. We'll get that in place. And then I'll show you how to strap them down. I gotta figure out which one I'm gonna put there too. Um, probably a Toyota RAV4 will probably fit there perfectly. 
So, yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay. I'm gonna leave my gloves right there. Let's go grab the next one. <sighs> I don't know if I'm allowed to record, so I'm gonna shut it off. Um, ah, no, I'll leave it running. It don't matter. Go grab the next one. Oh, that's nice, eh? Uh, <laughs> all the time. Yeah. Those guys are new. Yeah. New yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, the uh, the gate came right down on the truck. I think what it was is uh, he didn't stop. He the gate opened for someone else, and he kept going too. So it's his own fault, but some drivers. Yeah, he thought I was coming to grab all these ones. He started pulling them all out. I'm like, uh, no, they're not me. And then I'm like, no, I'm picking up Toyota RAV4s and that. He's like, I got none of those here. I'm like, what? Don't tell me that. <laughs> He's like, wait now, wait now, hold on. So, we got my list over here. Um, all the vehicles I'm taking, so we know what I'm taking. It's, uh, this here one's not mine, but let's just move it out of the way. He's got it running here. I don't know if he meant to leave it running or just, just did. But, there we go. Yeah, I'll shut it off for him. He can figure it out the rest of it, but. So here's my next one, which is a Toyota. And then I have a Toyota. This here's the Ford Edge. So I actually, okay, let me just look. These are all mine, every one of them in this row. So I got a lot of them. Yeah, so this is the one I should probably put in that spot because it's a very small car, okay? So we know that's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna put that one there. So we're gonna have to move a couple. And we wanna make sure that we do this right um, for the purpose of loading it so it's, it's done right. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move this one over out of the way here and we're gonna take that one next. Um, just because that one's longer than this one, so that one takes up more room, I can put that on the top deck there. To me it makes sense, to you it might not, but you're, you're trying to save as much room as possible when you're loading these, so this here one here, like I said, I'll just pull it aside. We'll just leave it right here for now. Uh. I'm gonna take this edge next. I mean, not, I don't think there is, to be honest, I don't think there's much of a difference between the Ford Edge and the uh, the Toyota in size, really. The Toyotas, they're so big now, eh? But this is longer than the Toyota, so that's, that's the, the thing. It's a longer vehicle. Not by much, but it is longer, longer and wider. Oh, it's so hot. How did the AC work? Oh, right there. AC on, max. Would that be max AC? Oh, so warm getting in cars that the window's been up and they've been sitting all day in the heat. Yeah, like I was saying, as you can see there, buddy. Is that left open? 
Yeah, okay, I can go through. <laughs> I don't want to end up like that. <laughs> okay, so we'll line this up and then I'll get out and we'll do a walk around of this one. So, same thing, we're going to scan it. As you can see down there, there's a little barcode again. So pull out my scanner and we're going to scan this one. Oh, surprising. Same thing again. Hey, it's uh, hmm, not there, but we know it's the right one because we know, we know that we our brain is right, right? It's just not. So I got to look, see which one it is. The 971, 971, the last one here. So, 971. So we're looking at A3, A35971, which that's what I have. Okay, there we go. Now, looking at this one, that's a here, there, I guess. Okay, so look at the bumper here. So let's find that one. Board edge right here. Add damage. So the front bumper here, we'll take a picture of that. It's so warm guys, like it is so warm out right now. I'm like sweating. I don't know, is that scratches or bugs? Ah, uh, there's a little bit of scuff there too. We'll look, we'll call it damage. See, I don't, see a lot of this is dirt on the, on the car. So this one looks pretty good besides them couple spots there, so, I mean, it is a rent-up car, so it's gonna have some damage, so we'll save that, sign it. Okay, so that's that one too. Okay, we got them two done. So what we'll do is we're gonna We'll pull this up, we'll get my bar, we'll strap these ones down. Uh, well, we'll strap them down and then I'll grab my bar and tighten them. So. Oh, I gotta push the mirrors in. Now, the reason why you push the mirrors in is to do with the, the width of the vehicle, right? Um, you know, most of these are pretty small compared to a pickup truck, but if you're going back up and hook a mirror and break the mirror off, well, then the company's paying the, a new mirror from a dealership is 250 bucks.
Well guys, we got her all loaded up. Let's take a look here. All loaded up, I'm ready to go. It's time for me to get out of here now. You see how I got it kind of separated there. Got this a little higher in the front. That one a little lower. A little bit of a gap, a little bit of a gap here. A gap here. And then up here. You see, we got it separated here, so when I swing, I don't hit. So, no, she's pretty good. I'm. Uh, it's it's dark out now. Like it took me a while to load this because you do the uh, the time you hold the camera, you do the editing, everything. Look at me, I'm filthy. I'm gonna go see if they have a washroom here I can use and kind of wash up my arms because I won't be showering tonight. Uh, the nearest shower for me is well, 11 hours away. So. I'll probably only drive five or five hours tonight because it's what time is it? 7:15 now, so I'll probably only drive till midnight, and then I'll uh, shut her down. So let me go get washed up, and we'll get on the road. Well, guys, I made it down the road. Uh, I'm pretty much uh, done for the night. Um, I'm gonna watch a little TV on my TV there. Um, I'm parked here just at a, a gas station kind of area I don't know if you can really see it is dark out um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to this channel I don't know why uh, I don't know why there's so much gonna come to this channel um, just hit the subscribe button it's free you know anyways with that said thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one